But just tell us about some of the special challenges in selling a car like a Ferrari Lasso. Well, look, um, you know, we partner with Mannheim on the, in a number of areas and certainly the prestige car side of it, uh, we do. They, they run a weekly prestige car sale. So we, we basically did, a, did the marketing for the vehicle and, um, and worked within their uh, online system. Um, and look, we, we thought the time that the vehicle was valued uh, it was just about the time that Ferrari announced the discontinuance of this model. Um, we're still not sure, you know, what impact that has had. Um, but, uh, you know, we knew it was going to be somewhere between, you know, three and $400,000 uh, in that area. It's, it's ended up selling for just under, you know, 360, including the buyer's premium. Um, so it, it's, it's still a, for a four-year-old vehicle that's now been discontinued, um, the fact that there are only, you know, 10 or 11 sold in Australia, only, you know, 300 sold worldwide, it never, it never really took off. Um, and one of the things I think really marked, was a mark against this vehicle was the big blue stripe um, right. down the middle of the vehicle, which I think would have um, probably put off quite a few people. Uh, <laughs> um, it's it's not what I would consider to be, you know, your traditional uh, Ferrari. That um, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a showy, glitzy sort of uh, a car. It's got a lot of punch. It's a it's a beautiful piece of machinery. Um, as only the Italian painted like a Ford Falcon, there, isn't it? Uh, yeah, look, it, it could be cynical and sort of suggest that they knocked off the fort. No, I wouldn't do that. Um, but, um, it's it's certainly, uh, if you like that sort of thing, it's fantastic. But I, I, I spoke to a number of buyers and they were put off by the blue stripe. And obviously, you, 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 you wouldn't remove it. Um, that would absolutely affect the value of the vehicle. But look, we had something like um, uh, 20, 20 different buyers on the vehicle through the bidding process. Um, which is, uh, you know, for, for any vehicle at an auction sale is, 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 is substantial. Uh, and then we had a couple of bidders fighting out over the last sort of uh, 20 odd, 20 odd thousand dollars. Made quite a few calls after the sale. Um, and it did take some time. Uh, Rich hasn't got into the final, the final hurdles we experienced in actually selling the car. But there was another hurdle on top of that uh, where the uh, director, director obviously uh, put a claim over the vehicle after having stood in the shoes of the of the original secured creditor, but once that clearance came through, um, the vehicle's just recently been paid, and I'm anxiously hoping that you know early next week we'll be able to send the funds to Richard. 